going on, folks? How y'all doing? Just about ready. And we'll get our second game of our doubleheader popping. Number 20, UC Davis at Northern Arizona. Should be a fun game. Aggies, one of the best defenses in the country. Got that all shared and we're all set to go. Close out all my stuff. Because again, my computer's trash. Can't run more than one thing at a time. All right. Aggies with the number seven rush offense in the country, number two defense in the land. And they held the Eastern Washington Eagles. Let's see if I can see the stats here. No, they don't show the stats. Noah, you remember, don't you? How, how many negative yards did uh, the Eagles have last week? You let us know. Check out the Lumberjack stats. I believe they have a pretty good quarterback. And they do, Mr. Joe Phillips, 24 touchdowns, 8 picks on the season. He was great last year as well, 24 touchdowns, 13 picks, 3,200 yards. And one rushing touchdown. Look at those rushing stats, basically identical. <laughs> That's crazy. But Joe Phillips, he's pretty good, and he is a senior, so I might actually put him into the EFL uh, for year number one since we're not going to have any of our subscriber players in there quite yet. Michael Sims, true freshman halfback, leads the team in rushing, 572 yards, six scores, and three fumbles. Did I say he's got seven 20-plus yard runs? Yes, he does. Okay. I like it. That's pretty decent. Jim Scott, really solid receiver, 71 catches, 904 yards, and eight touchdowns. Casey Bell, true freshman, 61 catches, 754, and nine scores. That leads the team. And nine drops here for Jim Scott. My goodness. That's that's rough. And Reggie Barron, he is fantastic. He was amazing last season as well. Over 100 tackles, six sacks, four picks, three forced fumbles, and seven pass deflections. And he just picked off or picked up right where he left off, you know, after last season. Leads the team in sacks with five. Leads the team in picks with two. James Carter is tied for first. The true freshman free safety. Baron again. And one defensive touchdown for James Carter. Kicker has missed four field goals. Tap out master. Project Crusade. No, uh, Noah and uh, Regear Productions in the chat. Tyler Rocky in there as well. Noah, you sexy bastard. Negative 26 yards the Eagles had. Okay. Okay. I like it. And 35 punts for their punter. 16 inside the 20. Wow, that's pretty good. Two punt returns for touchdowns for Michael Sims this season, along with 80. And now we're going to go ahead and check out their schedule so far. They are 5-4 and four on the season. See how many uh, quality wins they have here in year two of this dynasty. Let's check it out. All right, they beat Bethune-Cookman, who is 0-8 on the season. They lost to two solid schools, Fresno State and Utah State. Uh, Portland State, they beat Southern Utah. Absolutely smashed them, 70 to 14. The Thunderbirds, of course, 8 and 0 on the season. They beat San Diego, 66 to 58. Lost to Cal Poly by a boatload, and they beat Eastern Washington by two. And then they beat Idaho State by five. Leading up to this game here in Week 12, let's get it. Do 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 do. Do, 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 do. All right, Virginia Tech, I believe that's correct. If not, whatever, you're running it anyway, Noah. Let's go all whites, because I know you like them. I know you like them. Let's get it. Aggies, Lumberjacks, now. Let's go. I'm so excited. Let me get my drink. I played that whole last game 
without taking a sip of my drink, and I'm really upset about it. A <sighs> little bit of root beer. No worries, Nick. No worries, buddy. Aggie's going to get the ball first. See what this offense can do against Reggie Barron and that Lumberjack defense. You're right, Northern Arizona did not want that work. They've been roughed up a couple times by our subscriber teams. Here's Zach Pryor, defensive captain, true freshman cornerback for the Aggies up to the 26-yard line. Yes, their quarterback is pretty good. Joe Phillips is pretty solid. And Tyreek the Freak is back. He was either injured or suspended. I can't remember which, but he's back here for the Aggies. And a great run to start things off. Breaks a tackle and inside Lumberjack territory just like that. Boy, oh boy. They missed him last week. I mean, they really didn't, but it would have been so fun watching him just plow through the Eagles defense. Don't get me wrong. Lito Lozano was fantastic as well, but... Tyreek is just, he's just a different kind of animal. Let's go with that option. Owen Black on the option. Can he get another block? Yes, he can. Owen Black is gone. Touchdown. Two plays. Aggies on top. Let's go. 48-yard scamper for the quarterback. Juan Brown down there, number one. Laying a great block. On the defensive back. With billions in the chat. Getting paid to watch some football. You gotta love it, man. <laughs> you gotta love it. I really just want to try an onside kick for no reason in one of these games. See if we can catch him off guard. It sucks that you can't do like actual like surprise onside kicks. Cause that would be so awesome. Mason Stonewall at defensive tackle. Garrison over here, strong safety, and that is a pick for Elijah Christian, and this game's over already. What's up? Elijah Christian to the house, urinating on the goalposts. I don't know about all that, but, I mean, touchdown. This game about to get nasty. Let me go ahead and get that thumbnail right quick. Hey, bro, did you throw you threw right to him, man. Yeah, right there. Looks good. Nice little thumbnail right there. I like it. Elijah Christian, so good. <laughs> Don't do it with UC Davis. All right, Noah, I got you. So, uh, 36 seconds into the game, and the Aggies up two touchdowns. <laughs> Let's pack it up and go home. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Still plenty of game left. Let's <laughs> let's pump the brakes here for a second. Start going for two Oregon style. I mean that's all up to Noah, alright? This is his team. <laughs> There's Sims on the return up to about the 18 yard line. Pryor on the tackle. This crowd is real quiet here already. Boy, oh boy. I'm going to try to run it now. Sims picks up a couple yards. Caleb Chubb on the tackle. The number one defensive tackle prospect in the land. This crowd is so quiet, it's crazy. And a bad pass from Phillips. 
who's off to a hot start. 0 for 2 with a pick 6. Those are Jameis Winston numbers. But don't you worry, he'll throw for 400 yards this game. I mean, maybe not on this defense, but... <laughs> yeah, Regeer, uh, you missed a little bit. <laughs> Just going to use a defensive lineman. Let's get some pressure on him. Get him! Okay, first down for Brown. They get a first down now. They're moving forward. See, that's what's dangerous about UC Davis. I mean, they can just score with anybody on offense, defense, special teams, and there is a nice tackle for a loss. That's Zachary Hyde. I believe he has a touchdown or two this season as well. Haven't got a safety yet with the Aggies, though. That's kind of depressing. Dayton Flyers have three safeties on the season, all with subscriber players. And there's a deflection over the middle, and that was Zachary Hyde again, I believe. All right, let's get him. Okay, get a pick. Oh, <laughs> it went right over his head. What is he doing? What are you doing, Trey Henry? The third? What's your deal, bruh? All right, so we get a stop. And back to return is um, freshman halfback. Three-star freshman halfback, Wyatt Geddes. Nice spin move, nice little juke. And gets up to about the 40-yard line. <laughs> that vertical was pristine, man. All right? Don't hate on Trey Henry III. He's made plenty of plays this season. <laughs> and Wyatt Geddes gets the handoff. He'll pick up maybe four yards on the left side. You know who we're going to now. The Beast. He doesn't go for low-hanging fruit. Jesus. Wow. Tyreek. Nice blocking. Nice blocking. Break the tackles. And he does it. Okay. First down. He's on fire now. We'll give it to him in the I formation. A little fullback dive here. I got yelled at because, you know, I ran this last game without Tyreek. So, let's, let's see what happens here. Broken tackle. What's up? And can I break another one? Yes, I can. Almost get the first down on that play. Great effort by the freak, Tyreek. This team doesn't even have to throw the football, like, ever. Let me quiet this crowd down. It's too loud. It's way too loud. Lito Lozano now gets a carry. He moves the chains. I like it. Quarterback draw. Let's get it. Don't forget to slap that like button, folks. I appreciate you. Quarterback draw. Owen Black jukes a man out. Oh my goodness, what in the world was that? I like it. Wow. <laughs> that was the fastest spin I've ever seen from a quarterback. Jeez, that's rough. That surprised me, I almost ran right into a tackle after that. Goodness gracious. What just happened? What just happened? He's a man. He's 40. Oh, my goodness. That interview was just so priceless. Good old Mike Gundy. That was disgusting, Noah. I mean, I know I've got some good stick skills here, but... Dang. Like I said, that's like the fastest spin I think I've ever seen. That's crazy. Looking like Lamar, Lamar Jackson out here. It's not the one from South Dakota State because he's, he's had a rough season. Boy, oh boy. 
Does juniors go to the EFL draft? Uh, yeah, we only have one junior uh, subscriber player. That's Darius Mitchell for Northern Colorado. Oh, I just missed that sack. Oh, my goodness. Zachary Hyde. Pick six. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, buddy. This is about to get nasty. But, yes, uh, juniors can declare for the draft, Tyler. So that's now a pick six for both outside linebackers here today, both subscriber players. Goodness gracious. I don't know what's going on with the Lumberjacks, but they're 5-4 they're on the season. They're not bad. Their quarterback is their best player on their team. And, I mean, he's, he's playing like, I don't even know what, something not nice. UC Davis at number 20 is criminal. Absolutely. How do you get a team to negative, what was it, negative 26 yards last week? And you only move up one spot, and it was a 54 to 0 just shellacking. Like, what? How? A couple of our Pac 10 schools are just not getting any love. Like Southern Utah, they're 8 0 on the season. How are they not top 10 right now? Unbelievable. Cal Poly is that number one, though. Oh, boy. Oh, is that Zach Pryor? Yes, it was. Nice deflection by the freshman, the defensive captain. I don't think they know what they're doing. I, I don't think they do. They're having a real rough time. Like, even though the Aggies have, I believe they have two losses on the season, like, I don't understand how they're not at least top 15. Because you got the Savannah State Tigers, you got the Bryant Bulldogs, you know, both with two losses. And the Jacksonville Dolphins are ranked, no, at number 16. We just saw them win, you know, 84 to 7. It's just crazy that the Aggies are only ranked 20th right now. Let me get him. I got him. Andrew Jackson on the sack. Let's get him. A shout out to Rocky Clearwater. Always bringing it in the Discord. Chatting it up. Appreciate you, buddy. Yo, let me get this quarterback again. Let's go. Oh, Caleb Chubb. Defensive tackle. Making the quarterback taste that terse, baby. Taste it. How does it taste? Caleb Chubb is such a monster. He's just a mountain of a man. This team is so fun to play with. A couple more receivers, maybe. Some offensive linemen help. And they could be in the top ten every year. Wyatt Geddes on the return. Oh, with a spit move. And he gets clothesline at the 50. Taste the terse, baby. Hashtags in the chat. <laughs> you gotta love it. Let's go, Owen. Let's go, baby. Uh, I wanted to pitch it twice. <laughs> he just didn't want to let go of it. Look at that average. 31.3 yards per carry. What's up? Can't beat it. Ooh, Tyreek's on fire. Look out. We'll go halfback slam. Lumberjacks will probably make a bowl game for sure. They only need one more win. Okay, Tyreek. Five or six yards. I like it. All right, we're going back single. Right here. Wyatt Geddes. Head back screen. Okay. 
crowd is so quiet right now. You can hear the kid in the fourth row yelling at his mom because she won't buy him cupcakes. <laughs> About to get 35 before the quarter's over. Maybe. If I score on this play, I doubt it. That back draw, Tyreek Taylor. Picks up five yards. That's the end of the first quarter, folks. 28-0. We got two touchdown runs by Owen Black. And we also have two pick sixes. One by Zachary Hyde, the left outside linebacker. And one by Elijah Christian, the right outside linebacker. My goodness. You always abort the punt. I don't even know how to abort the punt. I'm going to be 100% honest with you right there. Can you even do that in this game? If you can. I had no idea. But I appreciate your information. Third down and three. Toughest situation of the game so far for the Aggies. You know we're going to give it to Lozano. He's got that first down. Inside the 10 down to the seven yard line. Yeah, that seems like an 07 thing. 100%. Because they had all like the crazy special teams plays and fakes and just trick plays all around. That was like their big thing that year. Quick pass, Sam Gatlin wide open. Even with a terrible snap to Owen Black. Good lordy. Black balling out. What a throw. I'm not sure what kind of defense that was, but I like it. Black, Lozano, Taylor, and Geddes, number one backfield in the nation. I don't know, man. I don't know. Gotta look at those leaderboards, though. In the Discord, check out the stats. Sunny Six, Smash Jackson for the Flyers. Come on, now. Daily Redding, Chad Collins for the Jackrabbits. Zeus Williams on the tackle. I like it. 12 yards of offense for the Lumberjacks so far today. Big disparity in yards so far. It's just too easy with this defense. Their front seven is disgusting. Oh, my goodness. Ever Garrison can't make the play. First down, Lumberjacks. Strong safety coming up, trying to play some man coverage, and that, that just did not work out too well at all. We have to try to relegate him to just zone coverage. It's all right, he's a freshman. I'll forgive him, just this once. Let me get him, let me get him. Nice run by Sims, six yard carry. Lumberjacks starting to put together a pretty decent drive now. No. Oh boy, Andrew Jackson misses the tackle. Zeus Williams cleans it up. Thunder two, baby. I love zone coverage blitz. It's so nice. Of course, these linebackers are better known for their pass coverage, obviously. And can we get the sack? Can we get a pick? Nice play. R.J. Simons, the freshman corner, making a nice play to force fourth down in inches. Yeah, and they're obviously going to go for it here. Down by a million. 112th in the nation, fourth down conversion percentage, 28%.
they're going to try to throw it. And that is deflected away by the defensive captain, Zach Pryor. Great play by the corner. Crowd not happy right now. Let's, let's just tell them to quiet down a little bit here. I can't hear myself think. It's so loud. Tyreek. Oh, boy. Oh, Tyreek Taylor. Get out of here. Oh, down at the 10-yard line. He didn't have the speed to beat that guy. Try to get a, get a little stiff arm there. Oh, my goodness. Just everybody just falling down. Another nice run by the Freak. Cap is balling? He sure is. 86% in the red zone this season, the Aggies are. Little toss play. And Taylor not really known for his speed. <laughs> Still gets a few yards out of it. He's got 110 yards already today. See how this play works out for us. Owen Black with a reception. Oh no! <laughs> oh. Ashley Jackson coming in. Getting some of her first playing time. She's played a handful of times this season. Not really any extensive kind of play time though. But she is perfectly capable of running this offense. Hopefully Owen Black is all right. Come right back. As Owen Black is dragged down for a loss. I love how Black gets injured on that, but, you know, he's running 50 yards downfield, spinning people and juking people out. It's perfectly fine. Thirty-eight nothing here in the second quarter in Flagstaff, Arizona. Tyrell Golden on for the kickoff down to the two-yard line. <laughs> she did play the whole second half last week. You are right. That game was rough. The Eagles don't know what happened at all. Luckily, Owen Black is perfectly fine. Oh, boy. Huge hit. Oh, how is that not a forced fumble? What? I don't know about all that. I don't even know who that was. Was that Chubb or Jackson? This team literally has a stacked front seven. That's my bad. Oh, baby, Trey Henry the third. Oh, my God. Feels bad. I don't really usually uh, use Zachary Hyde. Oh, Stonewall can't get there. Elijah, you want to you wanna not miss next time? Thanks. Saving the touchdown was Trey Henry the third. I'll accept the penalty right there. I'm not too upset about it. What's running clock? I don't know, man. I don't like to run the clock. I was thinking about running nickel, but I, I just don't want to. I'm not afraid of this team whatsoever right now. All right. Back to my guy. Oh, he drops it. Scott with his 10th drop of the season. Is that their first first down? No, I think that's like their third or fourth first down of the game. They, they don't have a whole lot. That's for sure. Can, can we get him, please? Oh, there's another first down. Jeez. Zach Pryor on the tackle. Yeah, 
Titans ran the Patriots <laughs> right out of the playoffs. What do you guys think about Tom Brady? You think he's done? Man, that pass was nowhere. I think Phillips got crushed. And he did. Demarcus Webb laid him out. Man, you can hear that hit. Also, how about the Vikings beating Drew Brees? And the Saints. I know I'm probably in the minority, but I, I do not like Drew Brees at all. That man whines so much. Every time a defender he gets remotely close to him, he throws his hands up, he's looking at the refs. Where's the penalty? Just shut up. Just just play football, man. Can't stand it. He passed to the end zone. Trey Henry III is there in coverage. Incomplete. And the Lumberjacks. Are they going to kick a field goal? Let him go to Las Vegas. Tom Brady for the Raiders? I don't know about that, man. That'd be weird. That'd be real weird. And the Lumberjacks get on the scoreboard. So there will be no shutout here today. Where do you think he'll go, Wit? Which billions? Zach Pryor on for the return. Pryor up to the 25-yard line. I'm pretty sure everybody thought the Saints were going to win, Tyler. Except for Vikings fans. It's a nice little upset. I like it. I'm sorry, Noah. I couldn't get you the shutout again. I'm sorry. Northern Arizona is actually a decent team, though. Lozano to the outside. Lozano to the Ford. 237 yards on the ground today for the Aggies. Detroit? <laughs> Detroit's got Matthew Stafford. Come on now. He's good. Just need some help. Who do they have? They don't have anybody. Oh, nice play. You pick the Saints to win it all? Are you a Saints fan, buddy? Are you? I think the Chiefs are going to win it this season. That's my pick. Really nothing to base it off of, except for Patty Mahomes is so good. Let's go, Black. Quarterback draw. Let's get it. A little back juke. Oh, that was nasty. <laughs> Inside the 25-yard line. My goodness. What a move. Owen Black with a vicious spin move earlier, and now a back juke. Wow. Oh, you're a Steelers fan. That's even worse. Just saying. I still love you, though. Vikings, Titans, Super Bowl. I'd watch it. That should have been pass interference, but okay. Okay, it was. Thank you. Let's go, baby. First down. All right, Noah, do you want all your backups in again for the second half? You just got to let me know, man. Wyatt Geddes, oh, the spin. Oh, that was so sexy. So nice. Good Lord. It's like somebody just like added 20 agility to every single player on this team right now. I don't really care who goes to the Super Bowl, honestly. Just I just want to see different teams. It's so boring watching the same team over and over and over again. Wow. Just muffed the kickoff. 
And he's down inside the 10-yard line at the 8. Oh, no, Demarcus Webb, subscriber defensive end, has injured his ankle on the play. Run it up. Maybe we'll get some respect in the rankings if we drop 70. I got you. I mean, you dropped 54 last week with a shutout, and you moved up one, so I don't know. Rankings just hate the Aggies, I guess. We'll call a timeout. Let's get a safety. Let's get it. Vikings versus Ravens. I mean, I don't know. That'd be a good matchup, too, I guess. A lot of purple in that Super Bowl. Nice tackle. Let's go. Let's go, Chubb. Let's get that safety. Let's get it. Oh, we didn't get it. But we got the stop. Might be able to score again here before the half. White Geddes on the return from his own 48-yard line. Jukes spins. Gets to the outside. Oh, he needed one more block to the 37-yard line. Throw it up. Sam Gatlin. Nope. Incomplete. Oh, come on. They hit the ground with one second. So hurtful. Your one wish for the playoffs is for Lamar to choke hard. That sounds dirty, but I, I get what you're saying. Nice broken tackle. Clemson versus LSU. I mean, that's not the Super Bowl, but I get what you're saying as well. I think uh, I think Clemson's going to win that one. They got a defense, man. I think it's going to be a good game, though. Really close. Hard-fought battle. My goodness. Like, every tackle is a tackle for a loss at this point. Number two defense in the land. Pryor with the tackle, seven yard reception out of the backfield. Your wish is for the Lions to win the Super Bowl. Well, I mean, they've never done it. They've never, never even been to one. Um, in order to get to one, you got to actually make the playoffs, though. Just saying. And there's a first down for the Lumberjacks. Their sixth of the day. I thought that was going to be play action. 100%. Yeah, NAU definitely has some talent, man. They're just, <laughs> they just went off to a, a rough start right at the beginning. Huge touchdown from Owen Black and then a pick six. And it just it was like a snowball effect. They couldn't catch up after that. Oh, my goodness, Elijah Christian. The second pick of the game. Are you kidding me right now? Bro. Oh, that was so nasty. Goodness gracious. <laughs> oh, man. Bring Calvin Johnson back to the Lions. I'm pretty sure the Lions just killed his career by being so bad all the time. Let's go, Tyreek. Let's go. Oh, nine-yard carry. I'll take it. Feels bad when uh, one franchise ruins the career of two Hall of Famers. I mean, Barry Sanders, Calvin Johnson, come on. Just wasted them. If the Lions had a quarterback back in the day when Barry Sanders was there, they probably would have won multiple Super Bowls. 
And if the Lions, when Calvin Johnson was there, maybe had a running game and maybe a better defense, <laughs> they could have at least been contenders. Do, do, do. Oh, uh, a little bit of a head start there, pal. I want to back it up. Back about my business. That man's shirt is very dark yellow. Makes me feel uncomfortable. Just a little bit. Oh, how is that not a touchdown? Come on. You're pulling for LSU in the title game because you're, you're a Buckeye? Come on. I thought we were going to be friends. Just had to go and say that. Steelers fan and a Buckeye fan. I'm just playing. I love you. We got the 50 burger here in the third quarter. Touchdowns. And I almost got the big hit. So close. I gotta call a timeout because uh, Demarcus Webb is extremely exhausted. Who's my team? My team is the Miami Hurricanes. And they have been absolute dog dookie for the past 15 years. It's been rough. It's been real rough watching every game for 15 years. And we're just so bad. Cry myself to sleep at night. Boy, not a good throw. Phillips hit as he throws it. He is 4 of 18 with three picks. I am surprised he's still in the game, to be honest with you guys. My goodness. How is he still in there? I know the Bulldogs of Alabama A&M last game pulled their quarterback after three picks. Oh, nice deflection by Everett Garrison, the freshman, strong safety. We got Tate Martell. Yeah, he did a whole lot of nothing this season. We didn't even put him on the field except for maybe like two or three plays. Miami Hurricanes are worse, are more horrible than the Detroit Lions. No, we're not that bad. Come on now. Miami Hurricanes at least have five national championships. Should be six, but you know, let's just throw a flag 20 seconds after it plays over and the team's celebrating on the field. Uh, but I digress. Let's go, Wyatt. Nice run. Nice run. Oh, good open field tackle. Over 300 yards on the ground now for the Aggies. I'm glad, glad I'm making you laugh in the chat there, Tap Out Master. That's what I'm here for. Comedic relief, you know? Oh, and Black. Oh, my goodness, baby. Let's go. This guy's nasty. Literally unstoppable. Great blocking downfield by the offensive captain, Sam Gatlin.
Man, he's just too good. And it is now 59 to 3. Don't forget to slap that like button, folks. I appreciate you. Also, join the Discord if you haven't already. Ooh, I finally got a tackle on kickoff with Jackson. I like it. All right, let's run some 3-4. Might as well. Switch it up a little bit here. Who we got? We got a non-subscriber linebacker out there now. Could spell disaster here for the Aggies. Lumberjacks might come back and win it. Tyreek Taylor with that six-yard average. Fantastic numbers. All right, back to the 4-3. Can players date those cheerleaders? I mean, if you're a player and you want to say that's your girlfriend, I'm not going to stop you, man. I saw you. Oh, Pryor almost had the pick. I believe he's got two interceptions on the season. Again, I would pull up my Discord to look at the stats, but, I mean, it's going to make the stream lag because my computer is garbage. Let's go. Third down and eight. What do you got? Uh-oh, deep shot. Everett Garrison out there. No, it's RJ Simons. Oh, he gets beat. So sad. It was bound to happen eventually. Phillips has one heck of an arm. And Simons, he doesn't really get beat too often either. First couple games of the year. The freshman defensive backs were having a rough time, but they have settled in quite nicely here for the Aggies this season. Crowd is going mild here in Flagstaff, Arizona. You can't wait till I get a new PC? You're telling me, man. I've been waiting. I've had this thing for over six years. Feels bad. Oh, nice play. Sims with the touchdown. Elijah Christian hits Joe Phillips, but we had nobody else out there to defend the option. And the Lumberjacks about to get double-digit points here against the Aggies. No, appreciate you for the link. Appreciate you. Love to see you all guys, all you guys in there, in the Discord. As I try to combine like 75 words right there. Ah, root beer, delicious. Whee! Wyatt Geddes on the return. Shout out in the chat, Danny Wright. How you doing, buddy? How about them lumberjacks? Yeah, they're, they're having a rough go of it, man. I mean, they got a touchdown, though. You know? Sitting pretty with that seven-touchdown deficit. You got to love that. Still a whole quarter left in a minute. Oh, baby. I should have went straight through that hole. I hesitated. Oh, that was a bit rough. All right. What do we got here? Glad to hear you're doing good. Appreciate you stopping by the stream. Okay. Okay, freak. Okay. Can't get the stiff arm, but we got to the 45-yard line. I'll take it. A buck 50 on the ground here today. 114 after contact. Beasting and feasting. You gotta love it. All right. I was told to run up the score by the head coach, so I mean that's what's that's what's about to happen. And there's Sam Gatlin, first down, baby. You just discovered the channel today. Uh, how did you find it? Was it like any recommended, or did it pop up after somebody else's video? 
I'm always interested to hear how people discover the channel. Let's go, Tyreek. I'll take four more yards. Let's get it. Closing in on 1,000 yards for the season at 9.55 right now. Get your fours up, folks. Aggies on top, 59-10 to as we hit the fourth quarter. Give it up to Lozano, and he is dropped. I believe that was Bonner on the tackle. No, that was actually Cooper, it looked like. The community is a fun place to be, Noah. It surely is. I think we added two more people here today. Oh, boy. Immediate pressure off the left edge. Marshall is third sack of the season. What do you think, Noah? Should we go for it here? going for it. Oh boy, that's rough. Black gonna take off. Owen oh, Black has the first down. Oh, 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 oh my goodness. <laughs> it just juked out three players. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, no, it took forever for your response. It's not your fault. There's just like a 10 second delay on the stream for some reason. And I can't change that, so. Whatever. Toss it up, Sam Gatlin. He's there. And he's got it. Too easy. And there's a flag for holding, so it's coming back anyway. You gotta love that. I'm sorry, Noah. God. You told me to run up the score, all right? So I just went for it. <laughs> Let's go, Lido. Let's go, Lido. Aw. I want to try to truck him. Didn't quite work out too well. Owen Black is killing him with his feet. Dude, he is so fast, it's insane. It's not even fair most of the time. Wyatt Geddes with a back juke. It's the second successful back juke today. One by Owen Black, one by Geddes. Oh, so you found it on the search. I like it. Owen Black in the end zone again. Come at me, bruh. Come at me. Well, I hope you stick around, tap out, master. Appreciate everybody that subscribes and likes the videos. I try to be as interactive as I can with, with everybody. Sixty-six to ten here in Flagstaff, Arizona. Pac-10 action. Zero defense being played today by the Lumberjacks of Northern Arizona. And really, not a whole lot of offense either. I mean, Joe Phillips has two touchdown passes. They were just to the defense. Noah coming in with the Discord link. Big dog, big dog. Got over 100 members in there. And if you want a player in this series, you're going to have to join that Discord community. That's the only way we're going to be adding players from here on out. One more score. Man, I'm trying. I got to get you that 70 points, Noah. I got to. 
Uh oh. Oh! Oh, <laughs> it hit him in the hands like three times. Come on now. Oh, now they're gonna boo? You're down by 56 and you're just now booing. Okay. I'd have been booing in the second quarter. That's just me though. Who want it? Who wants smoke? Nobody. Drop pass. Zach Pryor on the coverage. And we stop him. These past two games have been just absolute shellackings. Aggies have scored 120 points their past two games and have only allowed 10 points. This could be a really good return. All the way towards the sideline. Wyatt Geddes. Oh, he's not fast enough to the 41-yard line. No, I think Tom checked out like the first quarter. Tyreek Taylor, another nice carry for him. He's up to 161 yards. Owen Black with 174 yards rushing today. Woof. <laughs> you know what we're doing. You know. Owen Black, can he beat him? Inside the 10 yard line, down to the 8. I believe he is now maybe a yard or two shy of 200 yards. <laughs> Debaser. Oh my god. The soundtrack for this game, man, I tell you. I wish I could have it on during this dynasty, but I can't. <laughs> it's got. I'll get copyright claims, man. Owen oh, Black, quarterback draw. Oh, boy. Who want it? You can't have it. Touchdown. Let's go. Owen oh, Black, over 200 rushing yards here today. About 65 touchdowns for himself. I'm just toying with him at this point. Tom doesn't care how the Aggies do. Yeah, I know. I know he doesn't. He's got that number one ranking for his team, so he just he don't care about anything else. I tell you what, though, these Pac-10 teams, they got to step up their game on defense, get some solid recruits. 73-10, Aggies on top. What a way to start our Week 12 action. A couple of blowout wins for our schools. Let's go, baby! Why is Demarcus Webb always tired? <laughs> Maybe we can get 80. <laughs> it's all up to you, coach. It's up to you. If you want to stop, I will just run this clock out. Oh, the user. Oh, that was so sexy. <laughs> oh, baby. Owen Black for Heisman. Man, he's been campaigning for that for the past two seasons. Five yard penalty, first down. Yo, how about that user skill, though? User! What do I do if two user teams play? We do CPU versus CPU. And I just commentate as if it was, you know, a, a game. That's it. Type, wow. Tyreek Taylor! Showing a burst of speed. We about to get 80, folks. But yeah, we just let the computer duke it out in those types of games. I just sit back and broadcast. Those are actually my favorite. I, I love doing those games. So I get to, you know, practice my my play-by-play -play skills. Which I think I'm pretty decent at now. I was pretty rough when I first started YouTube, but almost 700 videos later, I think I've got <laughs> I've got it down pretty good. 80 to 10, Aggies on top by 10 touchdowns. Yeah, 
And speaking of user teams playing each other, we have two user uh, games this week. Let me check that out real quick. The stream might lag just for a second here while I open up Discord. All right, tomorrow night, our first game of our doubleheader is going to be South Dakota State at number 8 VMI. That is a subscriber versus subscriber matchup. And then we'll have Savannah State, number four in the nation, at number three, William & Mary. That'll be our second game of our doubleheader tomorrow night. And then, Tuesday night, will be seventh-ranked Bryant at the Florida A&M Rattlers. Second game of that doubleheader double will be Northern Colorado Bears at Portland State Vikings in some Pac-10 play. And then Wednesday, the 8th, the number one Cal Poly Mustangs will be at the 8-0, 12th-ranked Southern Utah Thunderbirds. And that is a subscriber versus subscriber game. And our second of the week. Game after that is going to be North Dakota State versus Tennessee Tech. And then our games for Thursday will be number two, Dayton versus the Villanova Wildcats and the San Diego Toreros versus the Idaho State Bengals in Pac-10 play. That is our schedule. All right. Again, if you have not joined the Discord, I, I strongly suggest it. got over 100 members in there right now and most of them are players on our 12 schools nice pass to Brown over the middle first down to the 25 yard line used to do baseball for Bowling Green huh okay I see you I would love to do play-by-play -play for college football, man. That's like my dream job. I doubt it'll ever happen, but... It would be so much fun. Ah, tap out going to Fresno State, huh? They were in our national championship game in this series in year number one against the Bryant Bulldogs. Go ahead and check that game out. That was a lot of fun. What you got, Nolan? They're in their, uh, they have their back and quarterback in now. Haven't even been paying attention. We're going to be doing computer versus computer for the EFL, Tyler. Deep shot. Pryor can't get there. Smith has the touchdown. 19-yard toss. <laughs> did the live Twitter. Nice. I've never really wanted to do anything else, like, for a living. I just, I've always wanted to be just around football in, in any kind of way. And I didn't graduate high school, so kind of limited on what I could possibly do. Like, I didn't get, like, a diploma or anything. I have GED. But I would love to do some sort of broadcasting. I just don't think I could actually have the patience to go and do school. I hated school so much. Why well, get it? It's up to the 20-yard line. And he's taunting a little bit. Let's stop him right there. Don't even 
15 yard penalty. But anyways, um, yeah, I didn't graduate or anything, so I mean, I could still go to college if I wanted to, but I just don't want to. So I'm just gonna keep doing this. This is football. I'm doing commentary. I'm okay with it. I'm at grind to a thousand subscribers. Lito Lozano down inside the five yard line. He's got 63 yards. Noah, do you want me to kick a field goal or something here if I don't score? No, let's just let's just go for the touchdown. Let's get it. Let's get it. Oh no. Yeah, we'll kick a field goal. Keep that red zone percentage up. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. All right, that's the final, folks. 83 to 17. Very easy win here today for the Aggies. I mean, it all started very early. 36 seconds into the game, it was 14 to nothing already. And you almost feel bad for the Lumberjacks, but they kind of did it to themselves. You know, with two pick sixes to the linebackers. And, I mean, Joe Phillips just had a really rough game today. And that defense for the Lumberjacks is like wet paper, like wet tissue paper. Just run straight through it. Those campus challenge points, man, they just keep going. But if you guys want to continue our conversations, I'll be in the Discord right after this stream. I love you. Five hundred and forty five yards of offense today for the Aggies. Five hundred and ten on the ground. I don't know if that's a record or not for our schools, but it, it could be. That's terrible. Terrible defense. Joe Phillips throws for two hundred and two yards still somehow. He was ten of thirty one. Four picks for Joe Phillips. Glad to hear it. Tap out. Hope to see you in the Discord as well, buddy. So I'm jumping in there right after this. If you guys want to keep chatting. Look at that score. 83-17. Just pouring it on. Owen Black, 4-5. 35 yards and a touchdown. Black also had a reception here today. I appreciate that tap out. Almost 700 videos, man. Almost 1,000 subscribers. We're, we're getting close. I'm thinking like June or July, we'll get to 1,000. Five touchdowns on the ground today for Black. My goodness. Nine broken tackles for Taylor. How many yards did he have? 186. Jeez. Gallon, two catches, 19 yards and a touchdown. Play 08. Yeah, 08 is pretty good. I don't mind that one. My favorite college football game is uh, NCAA football 2004. I, I just played so many seasons in that. I don't think any other game compares. That's just personal preference. Caleb Chubb, four tackles for a loss. Hyde, two tackles. Both of them were for a loss today. Two sacks. Andrew Jackson, Caleb Chubb. Four interceptions. Elijah Christian had two. Henry had one. Hyde had another one. Both of the linebackers had pick sixes here today. No forced fumbles. And two touchdowns. Tyrell Golden, two of two. No punts. Nothing crazy on kick returns. 
Why get us did have a 20 yard punt return, and that is it for the stats. Sims, Smith, Marshall, players of the game for the Lumberjacks, Black, Christian, and Taylor, players of the game for the 20th ranked UC Davis Aggies. And that is it for tonight's doubleheaders. Our next two doubleheaders, we have a computer versus computer game. South Dakota State, 7-3 on the season, travels to take on the 8th ranked VMI Cadets in some Big 12 action. And then a huge ACC showdown. Number 4, Savannah State, travels to take on the 3rd ranked William and Mary Tribe. I hope to see you guys with those ones tomorrow. Uh, until then, I'll see you guys in the Discord. And uh, take it easy, guys.